happening? I'll tell you exactly what's happening. Welcome back to another video. Now I will say, it's a bit windy, it's a bit cold. Happy November! But nonetheless, here's my 65 bug, and you've seen the car, you've recognised the car with us, we know known for the Beetle, it was one of the first things that actually made it onto the channel back way back when. We've never actually done a full video. Yeah, viewers' rides happen, you see a lot of cool stuff, you see this from cruises, but you know what? Let's actually take the time, let's show you the car, show you exactly why I love it, he loves it, everyone loves it, and let's show you what is Ted Bundy. No, 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 not that Ted Bundy, my Bundy, my 65. Right, so obviously the car has a character on its own in it. Everything from the way it just looks to that different coloured door to everything that goes with it. And to be fair, that's exactly how the car is going to stay. You might look at it and think it's like a patch quilt. And no, no, no. It's got some rare parts in it as well, to be honest with you. And it's a character. The car is honest. I'm not trying to hide anything. Just check the front right. It's basically US spec anyway, innit? All that's filled in. I got some very, very rare Amiga headlamps on it. Amiga lenses on headlamps, you know? Rare. With the US fret front bumper on there and it's just pretty and obviously as well no front plate I know we're in Mexico all the time but occasionally I do pass the federales and the police and all that stuff in there it's all going on no hassles no dramas and interesting when you go to cruises as well you see no front number plate on these cars go past them they pulled over where's the no plate I think they say to Dan all the time oh god here we go thumbs up that's why the little bug brings everyone joy so obviously front lawn is my personal favourite thing to look at as well. I tell you what as well, have you got a genuine chrome strip I can have for there? Because I can't seem to find one, I don't want any aftermarket ones. Everything on the car is genuine, it's original. Car is solid, there's no rust on it either, you know? Aside from one little thing there, but I won't mention that, you know? Have you got one of them I can have? But anyway, back to it. Front on, come on, she's pretty, isn't she? She's cute, she's gorgeous. And to be fair, this is what attracts the most attention. And I love all the little details, as I said, no indicators there. Right down on the headlamps, bright enough to still see everything to do with it it just puts a genuine smile on my face and also the car is static man it's not on air everyone always says to me that's on air no 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 that car is static it's got a four inch narrow beam on the front same wheels are sitting in so occasionally if you've never driven a car with a narrow beam before you'll be driving you're looking for those potholes you want to turn in a little bit wheels aren't what you think they are are they because they're sitting in you know what i'm saying but the car is static it's set up the way it is i'm 20 stone at the end of the day i'm a big boy for a beetle you know what i'm saying so it's set up exactly for me when you two up in the car that's when it starts rubbing that's when you start smelling smoke tires all that sort of stuff but it's a part of the fun isn't it my bundy So obviously side on, 
it is a couple of different colors in places because it's a 65 class a deluxe model as well which means i got the fuel gauge etc but 1965 top of my head i think there was three or four different color like creamy whites where this is so obviously you can tell they've run different VIN numbers or whatever they've tried to patch it and that's why it's a few different colors now this is a very bad repair on the outer door skin um i've got two genuine dolls there for it do you know what i thought about changing it i don't want to because everyone knows if the odd color door that side and the bad repair that side it's honest and that's what i like about it it's completely honest everything works exactly as it should as well i cover thousands of miles in the car every year i show out as well my jeff lutz as well in there gotta have the lutz racing sticker on there the side on, I think it just looks incredible. Right, a question I'm always asked as well, what tyres am I running? On the rear, I got 165.15s, Firestone's got to be done, haven't it? And on the front, I've got some Conti's bike. So on the front, I got 145.65s, which I think, top of my head, is near enough smart car tyres. So visually, you might notice there's no rear bumper. Now I do have a genuine US bumper to go on the back, new bracket mounts, everything. And to be fair, I've thought about it, but I just love it without it. It just looks that sleek little, you know, it, it just adds to it. Got some genuine red rears on the back as well. Um, so again, going with that US spec style really, isn't it? And I think top of my head, you can run red rears before 1966 legally. So they're MOT compliant and everything. And don't forget this car being 1965, it's MOT exempt, it's tax exempt, and it costs me about a 86 pound fully comp insurance on it and that's for doing 5,000 miles with 28 days european cover and a guaranteed value of uh, six and a half grand but to be fair it's worth a lot more than that to me it's worth a lot more than that anyway but i think being a 65 bug i've had genuine people want to buy this at about eight eight and a half thousand not even joking and it's going nowhere the engine alone i've got paperwork for the engine alone under there it's running about i think it's about two two and a half grand the engine under there because it's a 1200 car but it's not a 1200 under there is it no, you have to see me in Mexico for that. So we're on to the driver's side, which is my personal favorite side. Not just because I drive it from this side, but it's the old door everyone knows and loves. When I first had the car, as I said, I had the thoughts of getting the other door sprayed up to have it match in as much as the body as it can. So now you can get literally take your paint to these places, but take the paint, take the car to these places, scan the paint and you get a really good match. But to me, it's character, it's honest as is the inside, which we'll show you in a minute. But to me as well, growing up, I always wanted Fuchsia's on a Beetle. That was my ideal wheel. But to be fair, I think the steels with the moon, eye, moon hubs on them, it just, it just works well. I think it just looks good. And I swear, I got my little blue dice on it as well. Now that's my second set, because the first set actually went missing down on Puthcold Seafront. So there's probably some little youth on his BMX driving around with some blue dice caps on it. They're only a fiver, I don't mind. I would have given them to him if he asked, didn't it? Sap then. So as well, a lot of people ask, why a Beetle? There's a lot of reasons why. Growing up, I absolutely loved Herbie, as I think everyone did with, with Bugs. Um, always wanted one from a young, young age, always wanted one. This is actually my third Beetle. And I say, well, all good things comes in threes, doesn't it? It's happening, I don't know, does it? But it was the third one. It's the one, you know, you know you just sit in a car, right? And literally, you think that's the one, no matter what you want, whatever you've got to do to get it, that's the one. And for me, that's, that's what's going on. I love the fact as well, I can drive it anywhere and I'll stop and people will come up to me and tell me about a conversation about maybe their dad had one or their granddad had one, etc. Not being sexist, they might be in the grandma too, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, and they can remember going around places and as a kid, you know, five, six people in a Beetle, which I think is awesome. And, and just the whole scene and the culture behind them as well, you know. Shout out to Hey Burner as well, Ned. It's happening. Um, but that's what I love about Beatles as well. No matter where you are around the world, you're all this community. Like you drive down the road, see another air cool coming at you. You know, it's always tails up, or it's a wave, or it's a flash of the lights, etc. And that's what I love. And I'm noticing as it goes on as well. It's, I know it's this whole stigma of air cool, type 25, and maybe T4 to push. That's where it stops, you know, T5, T6, even though I am a T6 owner. Um, there's a bit of stigma with that, but I'm noticing a lot more vans as well are waving and you know smiling or whatever, which is quite nice. So it is all culture, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, 
You can chat someone with Beatles or air cooled and you can have a good conversation. Just like I was in World Up in Vegas last year. I was literally speaking to Steve Donnell about Beatles. Picture up on screen. And so that's what's cool. They got a lot of love, a lot of following, and basically it's a Porsche, innit? It's happening. And what I liked about this particular Beetle as well, obviously when I seen it, fell in love with it, went and bought it, and I said I'll never ever sell the car. But I was lucky enough as well for another owner who had it about 10 years ago, dragged the car out of a barn, because I actually sat in a barn for I think it was about 10, 15 years or more, and pictures of it in like sort of raked like this, big drag wheels on it, little um, hot rod pin striping, so pictures up the screen on that, it's nice to have, you know, their memories and stories to go with it. So inside, as you can see, I'm literally not hiding anything. It is what it is. I've got a skateboard wheel as my accelerator. You know what I'm saying? That's how funky this car is. Um, got a different interior for the car. Don't want to put her in. Got door cards. Don't want to put them on. It's literally like a skeleton in here. There's no carpet. I got a roof lining, genuine roof lining. Mass about it. It's originality for me. You know, I can drive it. I can jump in it. Doesn't matter if my feet are dirty. Doesn't matter if it's full of sand. I can just give it a clean out. You know, everything in here works. Speedo works. Lights up blue in the night. That's quite nice. And the engine in the back now, it's got 3,738 miles on it because the clock was changed when the engine was done. And now even my fuel gauge, everything literally works in here. No, nice place for water holders. There's no cup holders in here. I know you can get aftermarket things down here, but I've got quite big legs. I don't want to catch them. But yeah, that's my 65 Beetle. So obviously in the back as well, you have like a bit of accessories to go with it. I've got a genuine 1960s Coca-Cola cooler, which when I seen that for sale, I had to buy it. Stays with the car and a Mexican blanket. And in the very back, I got my front plate, should I need it, you know? But on the off chance. So that's what's nice about these things. Same as, put my sun visors off, right, to clean them. A year and a half later, still no sun visors, but visually, doesn't matter, innit? I shine bright there anyway. <laughs> behind the scenes Viking views oh shoes on the other foot now ah, I got shoes on I got shoes on but I got a camera in my hand that's what's going on he's looking at me in disgust he's thinking what am I doing no check this out right I don't need a cameraman check this cinematics boy is that steady is that how you do it you know check it out right you might not need a cameraman, but you do need a writer, an editor, a director. You need all these other things, don't you, but To be fair, he does do everything. I do nothing apart from rock up and chat. What's happening? There we go, camera. So it's about that time in the video, it's final thoughts, innit? For me, booty is in the eye of the beholder, innit? And for me, it's perfect. I don't want to change a thing. Year and a half down, don't want to do nothing apart from maintain it. I don't want to paint it. The only thing necessarily I might change in the future is put an air ride system on it, but then there's the whole stigma of, I think it's cool as hell that it's static, it's that low, it rides around that low. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I might consider, but certainly not in up stock suspension, that's not happening. So yeah, I just love the car. And at this point as well, I want to say thank you very much for everyone that just, well, has watched that video for a start, but has subscribed to the channel, is liking, is interacting with us, you know, seeing us out on bits. Also, you know, if you want your car here and have a bit more of an in-depth one as well, bring it here. If you've got something cool, German, Jap, fast, American, it's all going on. We would love to have you here. You can be in it, you haven't got to be in it. It doesn't really matter. Me and the mad scientists can stand and do it ourselves, innit? But from both of us, thank you. And please share it, like it, it helps. It costs nothing to share the video. It costs nothing to subscribe to us. Hit like, it helps us out in the long run. Brings us some more cool stuff that we can bring you. You know what I'm saying? So until next time, we're done. Boosh.